y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mogi Beth. For those of y'all who are new here, I own a six-figure reselling business that sells women's clothes on Poshmark, Tradesy, eBay, and Mercari. Today's video is our monthly sales video, which we've been doing since February that just goes over our total sales and a few other data points that we track uh, for the month. If you're new to this channel and you wanna see the evolution of our growth over the past eight months, I'll link the playlist to these types of videos up on the screen so that you can watch them and see how we've grown over time. Because not only am I going over these KPIs, but I'm also going over the lessons that I'm learning along the way, which I think are super helpful. And this month is once again a record-breaking month for us, which is so, so exciting. But if you're new here, you may not realize that this did not happen overnight. Uh, in January, it will mark my four-year anniversary since my first sale on Poshmark. So this has been in the works for a really long time. I just finished a really good book called Good to Great by Jim Collins. And there's a quote in there. I'm gonna post it on my Instagram stories today. And if you watch this after today, then you can go to my highlights on my profile and I'll leave it there as well under the quotes highlight. A really, really good quote pertains to reselling, pertains to YouTube, pertains to anything in life that is meaningful and important and worth doing. And it really just talks about the fact that these things happen day in, day out, consistently showing up time after time and for people who see them, you know, on YouTube or on Instagram, it may seem like it's instantaneous and that happened really quickly, but there's so much work that goes behind the scenes. So anyways, we still have a lot of growing to do. Again, I'm not saying we're reaching the pinnacle of our growth by any means, but I'm really happy with our progress so far. So let's dive into the numbers. Okay, our total sales for the month of September was $18,169.50. And I am going to go ahead and put up a graph here that shows our sales over time. And as you can see, we had our first $2,000 sales day, which was exciting and uh, more on that later and how we did that. But it was pretty consistent over the month of September. We didn't have any $0 sales days, which is good. And again, our 18,169.50 number is our total sales. So it's before the fees, it's before cost of goods. This number is $2,570.89 more than last month though. So, and it's our record breaking uh, month for us. This is the most we've ever made. So very, very happy with that. As usual, most of our sales happened again on Poshmark. I know last month I made an internet oath swearing that I was gonna get a cross lister and we did, we trained someone to cross list for us. There have been some difficulties though. So I am reevaluating how I wanna go about it and it might be delayed even a little bit more. But for now, we are getting things slowly up and listed, especially on eBay, which is, a, to me, the most important platform to be on right now, apart from Poshmark. But the vast majority of September sales were, were on Poshmark, the vast, vast majority. Hopefully, in October, we'll start to see more sales, particularly, again, on eBay. So, uh, in this month, our Poshmark sales were $17,173. So, the vast majority of it, again. eBay was $736. Tradesy was $144.50. And Mercari was $116. So, yes, um, not where we wanted to be with these other platforms, but very happy with Poshmark. I actually had my first return on Mercari this month. I never had a return over there. Even though I've been selling over there, you know, in some capacity for a little while now. If y'all haven't checked out the video where I compare all four platforms, I'll link it up on the screen. But in that video, uh, when I asked for y'all's feedback before I did it uh, over on Instagram, a lot of y'all said Mercari's return process is really weird. And it is a peculiar process because they don't tell you at all what the return is for. I had to reach out to the buyer and ask, why they were returning the item um, after the return was approved because you don't have any input, you don't have any kind of knowledge of why it's happening. Like there's just nothing, no information given. So it's that's odd and like not very helpful <laughs> to me 
forward to anyone but because you know I want to know why the person returned the item so that I can fix it or you know at least disclose it in the next time that I list it so anyways you know lesson learned live through that figured out that Merc what Mercari's return process is like so uh, this month we actually did not list as much at all as we have in the previous months that's partly because uh, the wildfires here in Oregon were really bad we couldn't leave the house and so we Tomas and I could not go into the office for a week so there was no photographing processing we just basically had to shut down the reselling side of our business for a week this month so that definitely made an impact on how much we were able to list and then also um, Matt and I have just been working on this really big project this month that I'm excited to reveal to y'all later on this month but because of those two things our total listed definitely went down which is definitely going to affect our projections for October, November, December going forward. So we have to readjust those, unfortunately, but it is what it is. We listed 359 items this month, which is more than 300 less than last month. So that's really significant and honestly did affect our sales um, this month as well. In September, I think we could have definitely de performed better if we would have been able to list as much as we projected because we only sold 289 items which is actually 11 less than last month but we were able to make so much more this month because our average sales price went up a lot and that's partly because of one big sale that i'm going to go over in a second but also partly because now that we have entered fall the categories that are selling the best such as sweaters coats and boots have a higher average sales price and then the categories that sell well in the summer so that has also contributed to this higher ASP so our ASP or average sales price for the month of September was $62.87 which is great I'm very very happy with that number that's $11.22 uh, more than last month and even when we take out this major sale that I'm going to go over later it's still I think our average sales price was around 60 so it's still very much higher than last month which is great i mean that's what we're aiming for our average sales days for this month was 77 and then we also like to look at the median number of sales days which was 40 and those two numbers are just how long on average did it take for the items that we sold to sell and those are pretty much in the same ballpark that they've been for a while which is good and what i want to look at when i'm just seeing okay our items really sitting longer than usual so overall september was a good month it was a pretty crazy month honestly with uh, everything that was going on covid of course is still very much prevalent and something that we have to be aware of and then the wildfires were just apocalyptic seeming it was we're just crazy and i feel my heart goes out to anyone who was affected by them because i really that's all i could think about um, that whole week because I just simply can't imagine what that's like but even in our business we are doing a lot of new things in September we launched our website and we launched our free 50 brand bolo list on our website which again I'm gonna plug this like every video but if you haven't gotten that yet definitely head over to mogibeth.com just you just have to enter in your name and email and it will end up in your inbox and you can just download it I think it's such a useful resource. I spent so much time putting it together and I've gotten so much really good feedback from y'all that it's helping you. And my favorite thing is when I see on Instagram you guys finding brands in the thrift stores that were on that bolo list. So definitely, if you haven't gotten that yet, definitely, definitely get it. It's free. Like, what are you waiting for? <laughs> By Ellie Golding. <laughs> And then after we launched that, Matt and I started working on this ma massive project. So, you know, September has just been different than most of my other reselling months of my reselling career. So, and it's not a bad thing, all of it. I mean, the wildfires were, were certainly not a good thing, but we've rolled with the punches and luckily none of us were seriously affected by that. And we're looking, I think we're all looking forward to October. And despite everything, you know, we still hit our projections for the month and we had our biggest sale to date which was so crazy i literally did a happy dance when it happened i want to go over that now we're going to go over five sales from this month that i think are worth highlighting and then i just want to discuss goals 
really quickly at the end of the video. So, okay, let's dive into it. The first sale was this Gucci dress, which I am obsessed with. It was our biggest sale to date. So I had this dress listed for $1,350 on every platform. And I had received several offers specifically over on eBay that were, you know, ranging from $500 to $800. But I was really holding out. My reservation price was $1,000. And so I received this month a offer over on Poshmark, $4,000, accepted it, the happy dance. And then I, this was actually my first experience dealing with Poshmark's authentication system. So Poshmark will intercept basically any package sold on their platform for over $500 and authenticate it and then send it on to the buyer as long as it's authentic. And so I actually have never purchased anything from Poshmark over $500. If any of y'all have and you'd be willing to share, I'm curious, do they repackage it? Like do they put Poshmark packaging in there for you and then send it back on? Because it would be awful if they like, you know, kind of screwed up my packaging and then the $1,000 sale went on to be like kind of grungy. I don't know. I was just like somewhat concerned about that, but I had no idea what it would be like. I've never experienced it before, but the buyer accepted, you know, the package. And so very, very happy about that sale. I was super excited for it. It took me 136 days for that item to be listed for it to find the right buyer which for that price point of item happens. But I think as resellers, it's really tempting to take offers that are below market value for something. And since I was very aware of what the market value for this dress was, I was just like not gonna budge. And eventually that buyer, the right buyer did come along. So very happy about that. It was worth the 136 day wait. Okay, the next sale I wanna go over were these Jenny Kane pony hair mules that were in a leopard print. Jenny Kane is on my bolo list, so if you haven't gotten that, <laughs> go over to mowybet.com. But uh, such a great bolo brand right now. These were actually from a recent retail arbitrage trip that I had documented on Instagram. And it, the trip itself wasn't successful, but these shoes in particular were very successful. They sold after three days. I had them listed for $300 and received an offer for $235 and went ahead and accepted it. And you know, I could really, three days, $235, very, very happy with this sale. And they were so cute and I was happy to get them off to a new home. Okay, so I was looking over my sales trying to pick out what five I wanted to highlight this one. And I just wanted to make a note, something that I, I think I mentioned earlier, but really what is selling right now, especially for a higher price point, are puffer coats or you know thick wool coats, sweaters, and boots. And boots like Uggs, boots like Sorel, they're really selling well right now for high price points. So uh, I just wanna make a mention that I'm gonna go over three kind of within that range now. The first is this beautiful Eileen Fisher cashmere notch collar coat. Absolutely gorgeous. This was new with tag. I had it listed for 375 and it sold for 300 with free shipping. It's a gorgeous coat. I was super happy for it to find a new home. It sold after just eight days, so very happy with that sale. The next sale I wanted to include was this barber coat that actually sold over on eBay for me this month. I had it listed for $250 over on every platform and it sold for $190 over on eBay. It took a little while to sell and I, again, this is another piece that I had received a lot of like $120 offers for. $150, kind of that range. But I knew, uh, since I had listed it in the summer, the value would appreciate coming into the fall. And so I just held kind of to my reservation price. And so when I received an offer for a, for 190 over on eBay, uh, I accepted. And it took 142 days to sell, but you know what? I knew what it was worth. I knew it was a high demand item and I was willing to wait for the right buyer and I'm glad I did. Okay, so the last sale I want to highlight is this Vince cashmere cardigan that sold over on Poshmark. It was new with tag and I had it listed for 190 and it sold for 150. Vince sweaters 
I, in my experience, do really well. So that's why I want to include this. But higher end sweaters, I'm just really loving picking up. Even All Saints sweaters do really well. Free People sweaters do really well. Just, I really like the sweater category. The only thing I don't like about sweaters is the pilling, if you have to do that. And then the, it does take up more inventory space, but they just sell for higher ASP. And in the thrift store, even they aren't typically marked up that high. So I just, you know, sweaters are great. I love, I love sweaters. <laughs> okay, well, gosh, I'm sorry my voice is so cracky. It's early in the morning, but I want to go over goals real quickly. So October is going to be another funky month for us, which is totally fine. I have accepted that fact, even though everything within me is just like, October's like the best month for reselling. You know, we've got to pump up our numbers, but I think we're in a good spot. I am, I don't think we're going to list 600 again this month just because I'm going to be so busy. But, you know, Tomas will process and photograph 600 items this month, but I'll probably end up listing with the assistance of my virtual assistant probably four to 500. I would be happy in that range. Um, I think under 400, probably not acceptable again. But, and then I think our sales, I'm hopeful, you know, it would be really nice. I don't usually talk about what our projections are. It would be really nice to hit that $20,000 number. But if we just kind of maintain this steady number, I'll be happy with that as well. But really the biggest goal for October for us is to finish this massive project, which I'm so excited to talk to you all about and to share with you. If, this is coming out on Friday, but if you have a Posh Fest ticket, I am going to be speaking at Posh Fest tomorrow on Saturday, October 3rd at 11.45 a.m. So make sure you don't miss it. I can't wait to see y'all over there. And again, I'm going to mention this for the third time. <laughs> Download that bolo list if you haven't already. Okay. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you in some way within your reselling business, but I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, bye, love y'all. One more thing, be sure to check out our other videos up on the screen. I think y'all will find them really helpful as well. And then if you haven't already, click that little logo up above my head to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you want to get notifications every time we post a new video, click on the bell and then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, bye.